So how did you work this out? I figured out energy using uh, E equals H C over lambda. All right, so let's uh, let's do that. So I don't see this equation in the uh, cheat sheet, but it's good that you know it uh, anyway. So sometimes they give it, sometimes they don't. Oh well, so they they gave here. They gave you this, h nu for frequency, and they gave you this, and if you plug these together, you can get this. Okay, so um, then we're supposed to plug in So for h, we have to plug in 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34. And then for C, we plug in 3 times 10 to the 8. And what do I plug in for lambda? 142.5 uh, times 10 to the negative 9. Because nano means 10 to the negative 9. So we have to put things into SI units. This is not, so we have to put uh, 10 to the negative 9 for nano. You have to do that little unit conversion. I got 1.4 times 10 to the negative 18. 1.4 times 10 to the negative 18. What would be the units on that? Uh, so cool. Now what's the, so we are using SI units, so we should get SI units out. Um, so that would be joules. The only SI unit that's not a base unit is kilograms. All the other ones are not kilo. So this would be 1.4 times 10. Does it make sense how we got this number? That's the what? 10 to the negative 18 is what we got from this calculation. So this is an important calculation here. Did you see how we did this? Yeah. So this is an important formula for going between energy and lambda. Okay. And then I equal it to minus c squared times 1 over ni squared minus 1 over ns squared. And I knew that that s was going to be n equals 3, or n equals. Right. Why don't you want to do the oh, this one? Or this should be 1 over n. How did I know how to do this equation? Because I knew something was moving between one energy level to the third energy level, meaning it would transition. Um, this step, you mean? We've always known this equation step. I know, no, no, no. I just couldn't figure out how to get what where it initially was. I'm sure it's by looking at the chart, but. Yeah. Alright, what'd you put in the parentheses? Uh, it's one over n i squared minus one over n s squared. That's basically from subtracting these two things. If you subtract e one uh, e initial minus e final, you can get something like this. Okay. Now we know here that z, oh, z is what we're trying to figure out. What should we plug in for the e? 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8. We should really call that delta e, because that's the change in energy here. That's why we did this calculation. R infinity. Uh, 2. Because we want it to be in joules to match our other number that's in joules, not in hertz. 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18. So I should have squared these. So this is how, as far as you got? Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, did you draw a picture for the energy transitions? 
What is your picture for the energy I transition? I tried to, but I, 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 like I knew as wavelength was increasing, energy was decreasing, but then when I look at these charts, I get confused by, so like on the side where it's greater energy, so smaller wavelengths, right. does greater energy meaning mean going a longer jump, or does it mean going like higher ends, like N6 to N7? Do you know what I mean? Sure. Or does it mean the longer jump? Yeah, well, this is the change in energy, right? This is the change in energy. This tells us how much energy is emitted when we move from one place to another. So um, let's see here. Um, so N3, are we, are we going up to N3 or down to N3? Uh, It's going to, uh, up to N3. Wait, the line shown below are the long one. To the N3. If it's going from A to B. No, it's B, dropping. It, it's dropping. To N3. To N3. How do you know? Because A is greater positive. energy. Um, no, isn't it because the Yeah, first of all, positive? notice that this particular question has absolutely nothing to do with line A. The question never mentions line A, right? They happen to label line A here. So the key thing is, these are not energy, these are not the same lines as these. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, so uh, what they told us here is that this is an emission spectrum. So are the electrons moving up or down? Down. That was the answer to my question. Okay. We must be moving down to N3 because it's an emission spectrum. You can't tell that by looking at this. You have to tell it from when they said there's an emission spectrum. So I'm not going to bother drawing N2 and N1. I'm just going to draw the transitions that are above. So we have this transition, this transition, this transition. These are the various transitions that these represent. All right, now this line here, this is the biggest wavelength. Does that mean? Whoops. Yeah, good. This is the biggest wavelength. So does it represent the biggest or the smallest energy? Smallest, smallest energy. energy. Now, what's happening here is, so let's say that we go through this transition. When we go through this transition, um, we're going to emit a photon, right? And how would we figure out how much energy that photon has? Wait, sorry, repeat that. When we go through this transition, we're going to emit a photon. How would we know how much energy that photon is going to have? What would be our standard way of calculating that? That equation? Yeah. Yeah, we would use this. So it's not that the photon doesn't have this energy or this energy, it has the difference between them. The difference between these levels tells us the energy of the photon. Okay. Um, so uh, this energy represents the difference between levels. So probably n equals 4 to n equals 3. Let's see. So this energy, this so this line over here. So I've copied the, the picture, the picture, right? So um, this would represent the smallest energy. So which transition does this line represent? N equal four to N equal three. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but what does this represent then? N equal the next, which is N equals five. To N equals three. Right. That's where you get this number that you're going to plug into here. Wait, wait, wait. Why does n equal 5? Well, do you agree that this should be the n equals 4 to 3 transition? Yeah. And you represent that this is the transition uh, with the next most energy. Remember, this is the smallest energy, so this is the next bigger energy. Well, from our picture, we can see this is the transition with the smallest energy, and this is the transition with the next biggest energy, from 5 to 3. And then what would this represent? 6. 2. 3. That's right. But it was completely irrelevant to this particular problem. Uh, they just happened to label A. I have no idea why they did that. Maybe there used to be another question about line A, but line A had nothing to do with this. We were just trying to figure out uh, line B. Again, we're not moving from A to B. These are not energy levels. These are the energies of the photons that have been emitted. So it's very important to make this picture. You gotta make the, uh, the horizontal line picture so you can think clearly about the different levels that we're moving between.